Joanna Mills. <laughs> How are you doing with her? You lost? No, your office told me exactly where to find you. What lie did you tell them this time? Listen to me. Talk to me again and I will call the police, I swear to God. Wow. All right, look, Joanna, Joanna, listen, listen to me, just listen. I'm sorry, okay? All right, look, I came all the way down here. We might as well go get a beer or something. You need to get over this. Seriously, it's embarrassing. Well, what if I, I don't want to? Then I have a restraining order and you don't have a choice. Actually, that, that's why I'm here. Um, years up. Order expired three days ago. I'm sorry, did you remember to renew it? Okay. Okay, so that would be 7,000 bushels of sorghum from Charles City, and then, then another 5,000 from Bedford, and then 4,000 from your elevator in West Union. We don't have an elevator in West Union. My apologies, I meant Waverly. And ethanol shipments from the terminal? That would be to your Mississippi port. Ten tankers twice a week hauling MTBE plus any leftover... We don't over... blend MTBE. We blend ETBE. I'm curious, Miss Mills. Do you even know our production numbers from last month? Uh, you know what? If you could just give me a moment, if I could run to my Meeting's car... Meeting's over, Miss Mills. Mr. Barnum, please understand. It's been a... I think that you and I both know that you blew it. Okay, Junior, let's get started. I hope you don't mind I asked Bella for your address. I'm Joanna. Joanna Mills. I wanted to say thank you. You okay? I'll live. Did you just move in? Sort of. Live all the way out here by yourself? Sorry to drop in like this. I just, I wanted to say thank you. Could I maybe buy you a beer later? About tomorrow. Not sure. I have to go to that big cattle auction tomorrow. Maybe you could 
meet me there. You know, I could buy you lunch. It's the least I could do. I'll be there at noon. Excuse me. I help you, ma'am. Hi, how you doing? You want some gas? No. I have a question. Sure. Do you have a mechanic working here? Young, tall, ponytail? No. The only people I got working grips are me and my son. That's it. Have you fired anyone recently? No. You got nobody to fire. Sorry to bother you. Right. You want Coke for the road? No. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. The results from your MRI are inconclusive. What does that mean? Well, we're not sure yet, but I'd like to keep Joanna for some more tests. Uh-uh. I'm not staying here. Joanna, I have a job to get back to you. Which is part of the reason you're here? The symptoms you're describing, hallucinations, migraines, could be the signs of something more serious. And then there's your arm. Why do you carry a knife? Because sometimes I wind up hanging around people I shouldn't. You know, Joanna, self-mutilation is always the symptom of something greater. Some deeper kind of pain a person is trying to gain relief from. That is not what this is. Why did you cut yourself tonight? Which ones? There's a starfish and a whale, and I'm drawing an octopus now. Really, you're very talented. Thanks. Don't tell me you're going back on the road again. Hi, Lorraine. You doing okay, Pumpkin? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just got back last night. Must have been three in the morning. Going for a promotion. Gotta keep my sales up. Well, I'm not worried about your sales, Joanna. How are you not losing your mind? I lost that a long time ago. <laughs> Dana, what do you think? May I do one? Okay. Okay. Do you know what that is? Seahorse. Exactly. They're my favorite. Why? You know, I don't know. 
Okay, I gotta get out of here. You'll be good. I'll be back in a few days. Okay.